Yer. What is going on YouTube? Back with another reaction video. Alright, today instead of not doing a, a music video, so we're going to react to uh, what's this says? Uh, she belongs to the street compilation. Uh, my fault. This is a She Belongs to the Street compilation. Um, and I got it from what page is this? Make sure I pay homage, you know what I'm saying? This is for uh, from one of the best of compilation pages, uh, at best of compilation. So we're just going to go through it and, you know what I'm saying, we're just going to react. I haven't seen it, you know what I'm saying, but I've seen, uh, seen bits and pieces of it. I haven't watched it all the way through. It's about 13 minutes long, so we're just going to go and react live, you know what I'm saying? So whatever these goofy bitches are saying, we're just going to... We just gonna react together, you feel me? So if you haven't done it already, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you know when I'm posting. Also follow me on all my socials at Wolfgang Peak on Instagram, at Wolfgang Lifestyle on TikTok, also at Bitches Be Fat on TikTok. Alright? So let's get into it. Alright, let's get into it. Hey, and uh side note, y'all hear shit in the background, just be just rock with a nigga, alright? We in the I'm in the apartments, I'm in the apartments, nigga. So you might hear people and shit, you might hear lawnmowers and shit, you might hear babies crying, people jumping upstairs and shit like that. Just nigga, we we in the projects, alright? We we at the apartment, we in the apartments, alright? Also, I ain't from Chicago. I'm not from Chicago, alright? I just like the hat. I know one of you goofy niggas in the comments be like, oh you from Chicago? Nah, I'm just a nigga with dreads and I like this hat. I, I'm actually I stay in Atlanta. All right, so uh, let me see. Let's go ahead and get into this shit. Speaking of the devil, you hear the kids and shit. You hear the kids and shit. What kind of fucking shit is this? How I'm supposed to? How I'm supposed to do work with kids and shit? Screaming and shit, running up and down the steps and whatnot. Bogus is it? All right, let's get into it. All right, now what, what you say? I ain't, I ain't gonna say your okay. face. What you say? You did? I wasn't in college. Hold tight, cause twenty dudes, <laughs> twenty dudes at the same time. That's wild. That's wild. Twenty, du twenty dicks at one time. Twenty dicks collectively at one time. Uh, hold on, let me. Uh, hold on, <laughs> I think I'm jumping the gun. Oh, let me. Let's, let's, let's. Yeah, at one time. Yeah, she's at one time. Twenty dicks at one time. That's wild. So, so did you nut like a lot of times, or, or like it was? I was on my back. I was on my knees. I was standing up, and then I had some sitting down, and I was bouncing my ass like while my back was turned. I rolled, you know, got on top, bounced up and down. Uh, it was a lot of ass around. It was one ugly ass dude that tried to come in, and he thought that he was because he got butt ass naked. I said, "Sure, sure, get out the room." No, yo, not getting denied from the train, bro. That is sick as hell. Not, not. <laughs> Hold on, because when everybody get jiggy, when she going for everybody, and you the one nigga that she like, ah, nah, nah, you ain't getting no parts of this. You are sick as hell, bro. That mean you ugly as shit, bro. That's crazy. The wild shit is, I'm not even knocking her, you know. I you listen, let me, let me be clear. I, I appreciate hoes that's hoes, you know what I'm saying? Hoes that know they hoes, you feel me? Not these hoes, these undercover hoes. Like, the the hoes that you think is a good girl, but she really a low-key hoe. I don't like them. I like a hoe that know who she is, you know what I'm saying? Hoes is good for the ecosystem, you know what I'm saying? I said this before. I think hoes make up probably 65% of the ecosystem, right? Side bitches make up 35%. So that last, that last what, 10? Nah, nah, I covered it. Hold on. 65% is, uh, is hoes, right? 25% is side bitches, and the last 10% is wilds, right? So you got to be careful out here because they make up most of the ecosystem. But, you know, it's a place for them everywhere. And I think the world wouldn't work how it works if it wasn't for hoes. So, you know... Hats off to her, you know what I'm saying? Hats off to her for, you know, making the world a better place. <laughs> as long as it ain't your bitch, it's all good, you know what I'm saying? Not being here. No. But everybody 
Like, you should know better than not wife no bitch like this anyway. But. Guess, what, guess what the thing is? A lot of people got something to say about the fact that I got six kids. Hold tight, because that forehead is treacherous, nigga. I wouldn't deal with no bitch like this. Shit, if you getting to argue with this bitch, hey, hey butt the fuck out you. <laughs> That bitch need to put my hat on, yo. She need to cover that shit up, bro. That shit crazy, nigga. That shit look like two kneecaps in a glass bowl, nigga. That shit looks crazy. I can't even... I don't even want to hear what she got to say. Until she, she need to put a mask on her head. <laughs> that shit is crazy. That shit shiny as fuck. <laughs> Let me keep going. I'm, I'm tweaking. I'm just trying to tell y'all why it is better to do it this way. If I had six kids with all the same dude, I get 34% of his... Oh, tight. Let me just see the bitch math. Six kids with one dude. What does that say? I don't know what that is. Does it say 30 per, 35? Whatever, bitch. Income, which is only 680 a month. If I got six kids with six different dudes, I get 17%. From each one of them, which is three hundred forty a month from each one. Three hundred forty dollars a month times six baby daddies is two thousand forty. Hold tight though, cause is that a ring on her finger? Hold on. That bitch got a ring on her finger. That's not her. That's not her wedding hand. That's her other hand. But nigga, look at the whole math though. <laughs> the whole math, nigga. That bitch said six dudes. Times. Hey, look, I'm gonna be clear with y'all niggas. There's bitches like this that's out here. Prime example, right? So you gotta be very careful with who you fucking with. You know what I'm saying? I put it like this. If you don't see, I don't even wanna sound all, you know, like I'm trying to be holier than now, or preach to you niggas. But look, if you don't see no future with that bitch, don't nut in her. Don't nut around her. Don't nut near her. Right? If it's your side bitch, don't nut in her. I'm telling you, no matter what, listen, the real shit I'm going to tell you, no matter what happens, whether she gets it, whether she snakes it from you or you give it to her willingly, once she has your seed, you lost. You lost. All right? You lost. Doesn't matter. Court don't give a fuck how she got it. She just know when this, the test results come out, it's yours, nigga. And with this Roe versus Wade shit that just popped off, you really need to be real discerning about it now because uh, it's not looking too good for you. So, uh, yeah, let's let's keep going. So why don't you have six baby daddies? I started my day off with some Starbucks. I got the strawberry refresher. Ooh, she started out with the grabbers, too. I know she a hoe. I know. Ooh, she a good hoe, too. And a bacon, egg, and cheese gouda. It's my absolute fave. With the toes out, ooh, she with the with the thighs with the the, the sun skirt with the thighs out. She's a she's a good hoe. I, ooh. Then I went grocery shopping. I just grabbed a few things to last like two days. Damn, she threw me off. She ain't got no buns. She came out there thought me. She ain't got no buns. That shit just blew me. So I'll probably go grocery shopping again tomorrow. When I got home, I grabbed some wine and I headed over to my workspace. I'm working on this project and it's turning out really. Uh, she she really trying to she really trying to thirst trap nigga. She came out with the skin buttered up and the boobies out, with no buns though. It's killing me. She ain't got no buns. I fussed with the fro. She got her Macy Gray popping right now though. Really, really great. So I'm really excited. My friend came over and we actually switched phones and like matched for each other on BLK. So that was really, really fun. Um, I let my cats in. I love them. So is that like regular whole activity? Uh, bitches in the comments, could y'all let me know? Is that what y'all do regularly? Just the hoes though, not you, not the wives and shit. Just, just the hoes. Is that what y'all do? Swap phones and play Tinder games and shit like that. And the bitch got a cat. <laughs> you know what they say about bitches with cats. So much. This one right here is my oldest, and that one is my youngest. I then prepped dinner. My man said that he wanted pasta tonight, and while he, I, yo, man said, <laughs> yo, what a turn for the worst. The bitches is playing Tinder games. She got a whole man. 
I hope this ain't none of y'all bitch that's you just seen on TV on here, man. Don't don't let me get you. Don't let me don't kill at work. I went on a date. The restaurant was really, really nice. Great conversation and the food was delicious. So I really did have a great conversation. What the hell were you just talking about? How you just cheating on him? Have a nice time. When I got back home, I finished up that pasta that I was working on earlier. It was really, really good. And then I started to sit him for dinner. We watched a movie and then we went to sleep. Uh, that whole shit, just that whole uh, sequence, just threw a nigga off. And I don't even want. I don't even have to hear her talk. She just looks. Uh, I got it. What's what's a PG word for her? She looks um disoriented mentally. Here's an interesting story. So last night I went to this swingers club in Atlanta and like dead ass like this shit said no other shit. Like it's dead ass a club that you go and fuck in. Like literally you go in the club, have drinks, there's just a bunch of dudes walking around and towels and you can literally just go in the room and go fuck anybody. Like, no strings and no fuck. Like, that shit was crazy. When I, oh, did you enjoy yourself though? My boyfriend and my girlfriend and they let me get slayed. Just ass. So you enjoyed yourself? It's crazy. Okay. Hey, bitch! You had me thinking that she was my baby for seven years. Hold on, he found out his... He found out his he whoever wrote this shit is <laughs> he found out he's not the father of his daughter after seven years. I'm gonna be real with you. If, I don't care if you're not sure. Get check check. As soon as the motherfucker pop out, go check. As soon as he pop out the pooty wop, go check. Seven years, that's nuts. You didn't want to know it. Seven years, ain't no way. If you was even if it's even the slightest bit of doubt in your heart. Go get, go find out. I don't care. She could suck her teeth, kick her feet, make a scene, talk shit about you on social media. Go find out. Seven years is crazy. Let me pause, because it's, I, I mean, he's emotional, and it's, it's, it's it hurts, because, you know, he probably loved that little girl. He probably really loved that little girl. And, and bitches will play that game with you where they'll let you believe that shit, just so they'll have somebody to be the BMP. If you know, if you know what that means, you know what that means, just to be the, the provider, just to, to have a dude around. To, to take that responsibility that the dude that she actually got slayed and, and juiced by doesn't want. You know what I'm saying? And and like you said, she's playing and laughing like that shit. Bitches, I don't ever want you dudes to think like this shit, like with your girl. You, I told y'all, don't be believing all the shit she say because this is the type of shit that happens all the time, bro. It happens too often. So don't I don't put shit past a female, bro. I don't. I can't. I can't. You know what I'm saying? As much as you think she's a good girl, she would never do that to me. Get that shit out your head, bro. This ain't this ain't the 1970s. This is 2022, bro. This type of shit is is too. It happens too often, bro. And it's sad, bro, because you can hear it in his voice. Just listen. We spent so much time together. I mean, spirit is, is shattered. When he and Ata came back and said, I am not the father, I can't believe you would do something like this to me. I All right. All right. You know something? You know something? You wrong. You so wrong for misleading me like that, boy. And you hear it, she don't even... Doesn't even care. It's not even registering to her. She's still playing the game. She's probably over the other nigga's house right now, if you want to be honest. Like, that type of shit, just, she don't care at all. And I'm telling you, if you do seven shit like that, I'm telling you, it's going to hurt. It's going to hurt really bad. I know it is. 
I've never been through it. I don't ever plan on going through it. But listen, the best thing to do is just cut your ties and, and get up out of there before your emotions take over and you do something you're going to regret, bro. To be honest, you're going to regret because this type of shit, I'm telling you, he, he ain't fucking around and it's, it's switch. He do something you, that he can't reverse. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to say it on here, but you know what I'm talking about. Like, he can't reverse whether to himself or to her. Like, that's that's sad. All these years. I'm so hurt right now. But it's cool. You want to take everything as a joke? Karma's going to come back to you. What are you joking? I recorded it. I see that. <sighs> I, just, I don't even like the goofiness of her. She's too jolly. And she, I know she's a hoe. It's cool, though. Ain't nothing wrong with it. But I just, I don't even, I'm, it's gotta be something bad with her because she's just too ditzy. Just get to the gift, bitch. That's probably it's probably some divorce papers and some shit. Or a Popeye's chicken sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> Just open it. It's okay. It's a picture. This better be a ticket to the buy for two weeks straight. Let me pause this before I even she even open this shit. You see how just entitled like she just all is about her. It's better be a trip. It's it better be a necklace and like just be happy. Whatever the fuck I got you. Like God damn, even bitches kill me, bro. Read it out loud. Read it. I know, bitch. Is not mine. Oh, man. Oh, it's them papers. I thought it was like divorce papers or pictures of her sucking uh, sucking Jollywood or something. Oh, man. Hit her with the, the kid ain't oh, his daughter. either. Why did you do this tonight? I don't want her. What? I want you to know that I know. I want it's you to know on your birthday. What else? The DNA test. The bay is not mine. She's not my daughter. You got to go. You're out of here. Who cares? Why would you do this? You see, that's crazy how bitches just don't care, bro. <laughs> Why would you do this? Why would, me? Me? Why would you do this? Look how goofy she looked, yo. Look how goofy she looked. <laughs> she looked like she just lost her puppy. She's mad as shit. <laughs> I want to see if she flipped it on him, like. She loves you, though. Oh, there it go. That would take no time. You see, and you gotta watch for that too, that soft voice. But babe, babe, that bitch. If it's that's why you always gotta have your spot. I if it's her spot, if you in her spot, just leave. 
if that's your spot, she got to go. The kid's good, you know what I'm saying? The kid's good until she get on her feet, but she got to go. She can't stay there. You got to go. That's madness, bro. You had three years to give this to me, and now you want to give this to me? Today. This is your birthday. That's the end of the month. Hold on. To get out of my house. It's his spot. You got to the end of the month to get the fuck out of here. You feel me? You feel me? You got to the end of the month, bitch. You gotta go. You gotta go. You gotta go. Gotta get your groove on. <laughs> what Lil Wayne said, feeling irreplaceable, thinking like Beyonce. Well, okay, I'll put you out on your D day. Okay, right? I'm not kidding. I wouldn't play with you like that, baby. I wouldn't play about you like that, baby. You got to go. I'm not the father. Stop it. Can you just talk? Just look at my face. Nope. Can we just talk? Do you hear me? Oh, shit. Hold on, strong ass nigga. <laughs> Yo, this bitch strong nigga. <laughs> hey, yo, this bitch strong ass. Talking about her sucking another nigga dick ain't gonna make me leave. Stay fast, bro. We gotta keep it PG. I love that sweet, good mind motherfucker. Do you hear me? I'm not going nowhere. That outside talk don't bother me. I'm right here, look. When she going to H-E-B, I'm right there with you, boo. You going to Walmart, get some stuff, I'm right there with you, boo. Holding hand. I don't give a fuck. Hold dick, see, sir. Yeah, I seen the... I'm going to go ahead and cut this one short because he's bugging. He's bugging. And you know what I say? If you're going to be the type of dude to be like this... I ain't nothing to say to you, you know what I'm saying? If this is what you want, if you want to be like him, far be it for me to stop you. But if you don't want to be like him, don't be like him. If you, if, especially if you know, if you know that she's doing what he's talking about, I'm going to cut it short because he's bugging. He's, he's talking crazy. But if you know she's being like that and you decide to stay with her, I ain't got nothing, I ain't got nothing to say to you. you that's just... That's just what it is, you know what I'm saying? So, I'm going to go ahead and uh, try to zoom past it. We're going to do one more before I cut this thing off because I don't want it. This is already going too long. I didn't expect it to be going that long. I mean, you see a little. little... <laughs> What's your name? Anthony. Anthony. Oh, yeah, she's a wild cat. Oh man, she's one of them. Uh, she one of them young pristine hope. Uh, I can't. I don't know if I can say hoes on here. I've been saying it, but I don't know if I'm allowed to. But I'm gonna keep saying it. But she one of them young pristine things. Them, them, them the ones you gotta catch in their prime. Them the ones you catch in your prime, and it's just amazing. Before she changes, it, she she has that awakening, and she changes over, becomes spiritual, gives her life to to the Most High or something like that, and then you you know. You know, it's right now. It's a phase. You gotta catch it right now. <laughs> oh, oh, fuck me! Y'all don't even have a clip. Y'all don't know, cause y'all white. That's the clip. Go ahead. You go. Oh man, this is too explicit. What? And you keep going. Doggy style. I like my ass clapping. My body count too. Oh, she's blitzed, yo. She's blitzed right now. Listen, and I'm telling you, this is crazy, cause she be the type. That's the type of girl you niggas, uh, you niggas uh, encounter, right? She put it on you, and, and you fall in love with her. You be like, think, oh man, I love her, I love her, and now look at you, she on, oh man, I hope she's single. I hope this ain't one of y'all girl, y'all, because this is just. You don't like black guys. I love black guys. I what's up? Let's go after this. Where we going? You still recording? Yeah. Shut that shit off. Where we going? My place. Where you live? What do you want to do in your place? Right. You know what you want to do. You know what she's trying to do. You sure you know what she's trying to do. I'm with, I'm with everything. With Pastor, I'm with everything. Everything. I'm with all of it. You still recording? You just got to turn my ears. Turn my ears. You fucking. Are we fucking? You, we fucking, right? You fucking right. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> hey, yo. Hey, yo, I'm going to have to cut it off here, bro. 
Hold on. All right, Joe, so I have cut the video short. It's still like still like eight minutes or something left of this video. I didn't want it to go on too long, even though it did. But, you know, I hope you enjoyed it. I'm going to make sure I post these shits every day. I'm going to keep trying to do these shits as much as possible, as often as possible. But, yeah, this is just, that one was wild, yo. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I hope you enjoyed the content. This is Wolfgang Pete. This is Wolfgang Lifestyle. And we out.